Okay, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. We are going to start a new career. We're going to start a career at version 1.05. You can see down there. Um, my old career um, is going okay. It's going to maybe be getting a little bit stagnant. Um, remote tech was getting more of a pain than fun, but I did continue and to do a bit more. I was doing some of the, some of the other uh, missions, but unfortunately, the recording didn't work properly. And it just gave me the catalyst to go, do you know what? 105 is out. Let's start a new 1.05 um, on a few different settings than I have done before. To begin with, we're going to go on a moderate difficulty. Still allows um, reverting flights and quick loading. Crew does not come back. Um, we have to purchase any actual stuff that we want. Um, Starting funds is less. Starting science and reputation is, well, funds is less, but for, uh, science and reputation is the same. Re-entry heating is the same. Resource abundance um, is a bit less. Science reward, fundings reward, reputation reward, penalties as well are all um, a little bit harder. Decline penalty has now been increased. Uh, or been added. This means if you don't like the contracts that are available and you decline them, then you get a bit of a penalty for that. We're not going to quite go as far as um, hard mode. Still going to allow um, quick loading and a reverting of of flights. Um, because sometimes, sometimes the game messes up and sometimes I do silly things because I'm not concentrated enough because I'm talking too much. And... Uh, stuff like that so we'll, we'll start that um, next thing I'm going to talk about while that loads in is the mods that I'm going to be using um, kind of a stripped down version gone a little bit back to basics I just fancy a little bit of a go at um, vanilla really so what do we got here um, we've got things that just make things just a little bit easier so um, I'll talk about the bottom one to start with Kerbal Engineer uh, at the same time I talk about um, Mechtiab. These are the two things that are just help you to build stuff mostly. I know um, it gives you in-flight information as well, which is really, really useful. Um, and uh, we're going to be using some of that um, just to make things a bit easier. Now, the Kerbal Engineer had to be manually installed because CCAN isn't happy with the version 1.5 working with the current version that's released. There are a few things that don't quite work out, so it hasn't been certified. And MechJeb as well, I had to go to the dev release version rather than the full release. I'll update these as they get updated. Um, next thing I've added is Science Alert. Again, that's manually added. It doesn't work 100% right, but it's just an alert tool. It just makes it so that when I go into a biome, it pops up and goes, look, you've got some more science to do. And that just means that I don't have to concentrate so much and just basically keep spamming the the uh, the, the science equipment um, I can it will tell me when it's available it's not working 100% yet again I will update that when that gets updated um, properly um, next thing I'm adding is um, X science kind of works the same as science alert but doesn't pop up and tell you have to have this window open it tells you how much more is available at the time it's it's kind of I'm using it because science alert isn't working very well at the moment and just as an extra little guide we'll come on to that um, couple of alarm clock because it's just really useful it lets you warp to different areas and time things and put in like tell you when certain things are available and then the Kerbal attachment system and Kerbal inventory system these are systems that will allow me to fix stuff that I break or forget to add on rather than doing the whole mission again. Might just sit there and not do anything. It might save the day. We'll wait and see. Module manager is just a, um, a prerequisite for one of the attachment system or inventory system. So that's all the mods I'm using. Um, stage recovery was something I was thinking about using because it saves a bit of money, but at this stage, I'm going to leave it off. I may add that on later. Okay, so let's get that. Put myself on there. I don't know whether you want to see me or not, but here goes. 
Okay, so day one. Back to day one. This is feels fresh and new and good. Um, I'm not going to go through loads of information um, uh, because I'm assuming if you're watching this, you probably know Kerbal Space Program already. If not, you'll pick it up as we go along. If you don't understand it, just put something in the comments below and I will answer them for you just as soon as I can. Um, right, so gather science, uh, scientific data from around Kerbin. That's a nice easy one. And launch our first vessel. We can grab those. We can only do two at the moment, so we'll grab those. Um, straight away we'll go to the VAB and we will grab that, grab our science, stick one of those on there. That's all we need. Don't need Jeb, we're not even going to take off. We're going to put Bob in. Not even going to save it, not going to add any engines, not going to do anything. Just going to launch that. Grab some cheap, easy science. Science alert popped up. Now this is why I'm saying this is Kerbal um, engineer doesn't work. That button's completely not working. Science alert. Now science X and science alert. You see here I can do three things here and it tells me here I can do them as well. So that's great. They can complement each other. Crew pull will grab it. Mystery crew, goo, mystery goo will grab it. EVA report. that get us out. What we'll do is we'll grab an EVA report and save it. We'll take the data and then we'll store it and then we'll reboard. So that's grabbed a whole bunch of data. We're EVA again. Can we grab that data? Collect data. Removing. Can't restore it. Yes, you can. Yep. Um, store experiments. Take data, store experiments. It's all there. What happens if we do a mystery goo now? 2.7. I'm not sure that will give us 2.7, but we'll wait and see. You can see it on ScienceX, we've got 0 of 5 of EVA report while flying over Kerbin. I think we've actually got that it's stored. So we just jump down here, grab an EVA report from, from here, climb, and board. And we'll recover that vessel and we'll see what we get for that. So that's a really, really quick easy. We've got 11.9 science for that. We've got all of our parts back and Bob's gained some XP for doing absolutely nothing. That 11.9 means we can grab the engines and the science junior and the stack decoupler. So leaves us with 2.9. Brilliant. What have we done? Completed a contract, gathered scientific information, and we've done EVA, EVA test. Recovered our first um, crew from mission and performed one of the first experiments at home. Excellent. Loads more money. We're doing oh, nothing. We just grabbed the escape, the atmosphere. That might be a bit advanced for us at the moment, but we'll see how we go. Right, right. Oh, the next step is we can grab that and we'll go to a bit of symmetry, stick them down as low as we can to keep our center of gravity. We'll have to keep an eye on our center of gravity, see it's right in the middle at the moment, maybe slightly towards the lower side, which is exactly what we're going to want. Um, Science, we are going to purchase that, stick that on there, make sure we have a parachute, and we just stick on a very basic booster. That will do us for, for this flight. Um, not going to go very far. Thrust to weight ratio 7.14, way more than we need. So bring that down. That's even that's a bit higher than what we need, but that should do us. Center of weight is about there. We're not worried about dropping them off at this stage because this should get us back down again. I think quite safely. Again, we don't need anyone special. 
we wait until we need someone special. So we we'll stick in that one there. I we'll just call this one and save it. Right, that should do us as a very quick and simple spaceship. We'll launch that. Right, Science Alert is telling us that we can do a material study. We're not going to do that at this stage. We're going to wait. Um, let me just get rid of that. We don't need that information just yet. See that, that icon just not there for some reason. We are in basically unconfirmed territory. Excellent. So, material study. So, the mystery goo we could do it by another point, um, a point two. Of a, of a mystery goo there and our material study is worth 8.6 but we're going to get in the air so we jump in the air go grab a crew report a mystery goo and a material study while flying we're just going to go straight up lots and lots of data we want to try and maintain a straight up attitude nearly out of gas and we're out of gas Red there indicates that this parachute is not good to, to go off and now it's gone to available. And we're still going up. Still going up. Oh look at that. I didn't think we got these unless we put the the tool on. Never mind. Right, heading back down again. Going slow enough now we'll launch our uh, our parachute try and help maintain a straight down attitude oh no it's flipping it's flipping because the weight is this end here so this is coming down quite vigorously hopefully this parachute will be enough to arrest our descent bill should be okay I'm trying everything I can just to flip it around because we're quite aerodynamic and so we're not picking up speed but it's it's not bleeding off as quickly as I'd like but the parachute will catch pretty soon and flip us around with less than 500 meters before we touch down which is all fine and we're gonna land right in the middle Possibly in the car park, perhaps. As we come down. We'll just speed up time just a little bit as we come down. Bear in mind the difference between the altitude here and the altitude above the terrain there. Nice landing. That'll do beautifully. Grab the other um, mystery goo. Save it. And again, we're going to do an EVA. Hold on tight. We'll take the data and we'll store the experiments and we'll grab an EVA report and we'll board. Now we can do another crew report because we've taken the data out of the capsule we can now put it straight back in again. Crew report of 1.4 1, uh, and we'll save that data. I think that's about all we do. We are curving short so we can see that's the biome that we're in there. Um, biome says there as well, shores. EVA report while well, landed at the R&D shores. Oh, so we can, if we drop down we'll grab some more and again the material studies. So what we'll do is we'll try not to kill him. We won't be able to get back in again but we EVA and we'll drop off. Luckily he didn't die. Oh, nearly knocked his rocket on top of his head. That would have been painful. Grab an EVA report. That's another 2.2. And we'll recover the vessel. Now, when we say recover the vessel, because he's not in the vessel, we're recovering just him. So that's 6.7. And oh, we got a little bit of science for just recovering the vessel it's in space. He's gained one XP. And we'll recover that as well. And that's another 30 science. So that is brilliant, brilliant news. RD. Radial mount parachutes, very useful. We'll spend some money on uh, some science on that. Uh, swivel engine, good. Winglets, better. Grab some of that. 
need a bit more to get that. But we've got the radial um, things as well. What are we doing now? So speed records, distance records, all good. Launch our first vessel. Brilliant. Don't think we've got any more we can do. Escape the atmosphere. Ah, oh, look at this. We can do some more. Um, oh, these are all parts testings. I don't like parts testings. Uh, um, observations of Kerbin as well. Don't like those. Well, I think our next one is really going to be test the heat shield. Look at that one. Run test altitude and speed. I mean, you got to line them all up, otherwise they don't. I mean, we've only got two possible contracts that we can do. We're not going to orbit yet, so we'll have a think about that. But anyway, that is our first episode. We got ourselves off the ground. We got a bit of science. We got ourselves some some parts. We're going to start building some bigger ships and stuff like that. So uh, we'll just leave it there for the first episode. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, join me in the next episode. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider giving me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to hear about when I do some more videos. In the meantime, if you want to click on one of the other videos that I've done on uh, on a different game, then uh, these are my latest ones. Please go ahead. Or if you click on the next video in this series, that'll take you directly to the next video in this series if I've done it and uploaded it. Thanks for watching.